I just still can't believe it. Sitting here at home doing this show for months and thinking that today, finally, on June 12th, things are starting to open up a little bit, like we were talking about last hour. Uh, the gyms and the day camps and the museums and you see restaurants and just we took for granted a lot of things. I think, you know, in this moment, specifically talking about COVID-19, you have to stop and write down, and you've probably done this, things that we took for granted that we shall no longer take for granted. Mm -hmm. And even as time goes by, we desensitize ourselves to things. It's mm -hmm. called caution fatigue, actually. It's like when you watch a movie, a horror movie, it says, and you see this horror movie, and it scares you to death. But then mm -hmm. you see it two and three or four times. You, you get a fatigue on it. You're, right. you're desensitized to it. I think mm -hmm. we need to really think about the things that were taken away and not be desensitized to getting them back. Yeah. Well, for one, not having to wear a face mask. Like, I, I took for granted that we could just have our faces exposed to air. And now that's gone. And for two, when you're doing it. I mean, you told me. You delivered the news here on this show that you're supposed to wear a face mask when you're doing it if you're dating. If you're dating. Like something you're I never would have thought about. You're okay. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I mean, these are things. I mean, Tubbs, are you wearing one with your girlfriend? When we go to the store. No, we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're not talking about that. Well, are they're you, in the same I, household I, right I, now. Well, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but oh, no, right. no. Well, when I get to the groceries, we'll get to you. <laughs> <laughs> Still excited to hear about the big event coming up this weekend. Tanya's taking Socrates to meet her parents. That story's coming. You have to stay on Kiss, though, to hear it. I mean, you got it. Let me grab Anna. Anna is on my line. Anna, good morning. How are you doing in Van Nuys? Good morning, Ryan. How are you? I'm well. Thanks oh for God. asking. So, listen, you want to go to church as soon as possible, right? Thanks, I do. I do. When will your church open? Do you know? No, I don't know. Hopefully, I can find out soon. What is the name of your church? San Catherine, St. Lucida. What will you be grateful for when you can get to church? What will you think about, pray about? Well, I'm thankful like for my family. I'm thankful for this that it's almost over and hopefully things will go back to normal. I'm thankful that everybody at work is safe. All our residents here, that our patients are safe. Nobody was affected by this virus. And there's a lot, there's like a hundred and something still nursing facilities that, that have suffered lots of patients and we haven't so wow. that's a big big that blessing. is a huge blessing i know you know so many of us look for strength out of being in a place of worship and you know you can obviously you can yeah. practice your faith from anywhere but there is something special there is a there's a, a spirit there is a strength that comes yeah. out of being with people when you're Mm -hmm. uh, when you're in a, a place of worship. Well, listen, I, they also tell me, the phone screener just told me that you're very excited or, or thankful that soon you'll be able to get your nails done, that you're looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Good luck getting back to church soon, Anna. You take care. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, bye, Anna. Thank you, Stephanie, too. Bye-bye. I love Stephanie. Oh, thank you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Got to get to God and got to get the nails French manicured. I mean, come on. I mean, priorities. I feel her on that. Right?